All right, so model one, model one, market research. So um, in this model, you're going to learn how to choose a hungry money in hand market who are desperate to buy. You know, you want to make sure that as much as possible, you're selling to players with money, people who have money to spend on what you want them to buy. And then number two, you're going to find how to uh, how hot selling product ideas to sell to that market. You're going to be learning how to find the the best products to sell, the best products that you can buy as low as possible and sell for as high as possible. And then you're going to learn how to choose between two or three different products to sell to that, to different markets and then how to test for market viability because as much as possible you want to make sure that you are selling the products that will sell faster and more for you okay so i'm going to be teaching you in the third part of this module how to test different product ideas especially when you have a whole lot of product ideas that you have found to be viable so which one of them will sell faster and which one of them will sell more this is what we're going to teach you in part three of this model and then number four we are going to give you examples of product types that fit this criteria so let's get into it so model one part one how to choose a hungry money in hand desperate to buy a niche market so before you do anything before you try to sell and it's not just about e-commerce no matter what kind of business it is before you decide to create a product choose a product to sell you need to find a market for that product you need to find the market because it is when you have a market and then you have this determined the the which part of that market has money to pay for your product that's when you now start thinking oh now that I know the market, I know what the market needs are, I know the what market wants are, now I know exactly what it is to sell to them. Because you are selling people's solutions. You are selling, you are selling elevations to problems. Okay? So, the first thing you need to understand is that you need to go niche, always. You need to go niche. So, you don't want to sell a product to every woman. You want to sell a product that a special a kind of woman for example is going to be willing to buy you are not trying to sell the product to everybody in fact one of the best ways to go broke in business is to try to sell to everybody because the truth is it doesn't matter how rich you are or how wide your distribution is there is no way you can sell to everybody for example there are people that will never drink soda they're never going to drink Coke or Fanta or Sprite or, or any of that. They're never going to do it. It doesn't matter how, how much you beat them over the head. They're not going to do it. The other day, I met a man who doesn't eat meat. He's a vegetarian. I mean, I was surprised. I'm like, wow, somebody's a vegetarian. I say, yes, for the last 25 years, he has not eaten meat right and i looked at him and he's healthy he's strong but he doesn't eat meat now imagine trying to sell meat to that man doesn't matter what you say doesn't matter what you do so always make sure that you're selling to a specific part of a market people who are in need of a sp specific thing it's always going to be niche and that's how what you should be doing and then in e-commerce we have what is called the rule of 25 to 59 so what it means is that if you're going to choose a market choose a market that is between the the ages of 25 and 59 okay because the reason is the people who are between the ages of 50, 25 and 59 are usually the people who have money to spend they're usually the people who have money to spend because by the age of 25 you probably already have a job you know, and you're probably earning an income. Because remember, we are trying to sell to people with money. PWMs, players with money, people with money. Those are the people that we want to sell to. We don't want to sell to a product to people who can afford it. We don't want to sell a product to babies, for example. Babies don't have money to spend, right? But now, does it mean you can't sell a product for, that will benefit babies? Of course you can, but you can't target babies. 
when you try to sell a baby product you have to target their moms right right that makes sense right so the role of 25 to 59 is important and why 59 years old let's stop at 59 why not 70 why not 80 well for now the people that are most active online because remember you're going to be selling your products online the people that are most active online again is people between this age bracket 25 and 59 people that are both 59 especially now maybe it's going to change in another 20 years but especially now at this time the people above 59 actually struggle with the internet a lot of them still don't know how to use the internet and we don't want to be wasting time with people who want to use the internet maybe in 10 years time the people who are who are 59 now 59 60 now are probably going to be 70 so by then you know because they already know how to use the internet then we can realistically target them but at this point in time the best age bracket is to follow this rule the rule of 25 to 59 and make sure that we are only selling to people within this age bracket and now finally um women versus men who do we sell to now we can of course, the entire market in the world is divided between men and women, right? Men and women. So, over time, it's been proven that women buy a lot more physical products than men. Over time, it's been proven. Now, that, does that mean you shouldn't sell to men? Of course not. That does not mean you shouldn't sell to men. Of course, if you find a product that men are going to buy, then by all means, you should sell it to men. What I'm trying to say is that you know there is a whole lot more sales you can make if you figure out products that you can sell to men versus women okay so so that's it now part two is where we talk about how to find hot selling product ideas for any market so you have chosen the market right you have decided okay i'm going to sell to men or I'm going to sell to women. Now, you need to also ask yourself, what kind of men do I want to sell to? Or what kind of women do I want to sell to? Right? You need to ask yourself that. So, do I want to sell to young men? Or do I want to sell to, to older men? Do I want to sell to young women? Or do I want to sell to older women? Right? So, you need to figure that out. You know, because the desires and the dreams and the aspirations of young women are different from those of older women now of course there are some things that they are going to have in common there are some things that they are going to like in common but remember like i said we want to sell, sell to specific desires and specific ones and specific needs right so we want to make sure that we're selling to a specific group so we're either going to sell to younger men or we're going to sell to younger women or we're going to sell to older men or we're going to sell to older um, women we're going to sell to mothers or we are going to sell to to childless people, right? Or we want to sell to married people, or we want to sell to single people. You have to make sure and decide because there are certain products that appeal to people based on where they are as a demographic. Okay, so the next thing is, of course. Um, The next thing is, of course, uh, how to find the hot selling products for any market. So I'm going to go through each of these. So we have home shopping channel uh, channels. That's one way to find hot selling products. We have online e-commerce stores. We have Google searches. We have crowdfunding sites, TV shows, online ads. All right. So. I'm going to go online now and show you how to use each of these methods to find hot selling products. Alright, so 